Hello, this is uh, Andy Dental 21 and today I am going to show you how to uh, synchronise uh, synchronize your um, HTC and also um, install antivirus software. That's uh, Kaspersky, it's quite hard to say this. Um, but yeah, so. Um, uh, what's going on here? <laughs> Right, sorry, the um, the actual um, HTC is still syncing, as you can see. It's still syncing at the moment, but in the meantime, uh, Kaspersky, right, right, start from the beginning. <laughs> right, got to right. Basically, you'll be given um, you'll come onto the Kaspersky website, and uh, you'll have a selection of uh, little tabs across the top. Click Downloads, which I'm already on. Uh, I'll do this again. One second. Fred, this is going to be uh, redone as my uh, brother was slightly um, caught up in the middle of my filming, so to redo it again. Um, so, yeah. So, well, when you've chosen the downloads, um, you're uh, presented with uh, options of different antivirus. Um, most of these options are for Mac and PC. But if you scroll down, you eventually find a antivirus named Kaspersky Mobile Security 9. Um, and then within that, you have two options to have a free trial or buy now. Um, what I would advise what I've done by doing free trial first. Um, gives you an idea of what it's like to use this antivirus and what it's like to live with and then and then you have the uh, eventual choice whether to uh, buy it and um, have it for keeps or um, or, or try another antivirus um, so once you've uh, clicked on free trial you uh, presented by a number of options saying uh, for, well, uh, uh, for Linz, which um, is company first name last name and email. Um, company, I'm not too sure, depending on your um, whatever suits you best. Um, I don't think you have to fill it in, but I did. Um, I put my college's name. Uh, that's basically what I'm using it for during college. Um, so my first name, last name and email address. Uh, once you've done this, uh, you click submit and then uh, you asked if you wanted to download. You want to download the file, uh, which you accept. And then once you've downloaded this file, uh, if you're using Mozilla Firefox um, or Internet Explorer, if you're setting it so it saves it to your actual document via your downloads file, go to My Documents, uh, find Download Files, and then you'll find. KM Security, like on. Um, from there, uh, you copy this file and transfer it to your HTC S620 memory. You do this via ActiveSync, which uh, is included in the CD ROM. But however, I have um, updated it to 6. Point, uh, sorry, uh, 4.5. Uh, originally on the CD it's 4.0 um, but you have uh, the choice of updating it, which I did. Um, at the moment it's still synchronising but from there uh, you click Explore which will bring up your contents of your form as you can see. Then you uh, click Mobile My Windows Mobile Based Device then you go to click Storage Card and then within your storage card to you completely but I chose to put it in program files and basically then you uh, copy paste game okay, security uh, to your uh, to your uh, memory on your stick and from then on in you uh, go on to your um, HTC X620 uh, S620 sorry uh, go on to your start menu or to uh, file explorer, sorry. Uh, click menu, 
I've got to go down to store card, uh, storage card, sorry. Uh, scroll down until you find the file which says program files. And then you click on the Kaspersky icon. And then the um, the installation procedure will begin. Uh, won't need to do this as it's uh, already on the form. But once it is on the form, uh, and the icons disappeared. Usually, I have a little icon for Kaspersky because I haven't used it. It's taken it off it just for now. So um, from there, go to Kaspersky, which is probably at the bottom of the list. Go on to that. Enter code, which is your passcode. Um, you can choose whether to put one on or not. It's your, it's your own choice. But I would advise you doing that so that nobody can uh, disrupt your antivirus. Once you go into your antivirus, which does take uh, a few seconds to load, you're presented with a list of protection, firewall, antivirus, anti theft. Privacy protection and license. Um, I have 29 days license left, but I would suggest what you would do is um, again uh, acquire a new free trial each time, um, unless you want to, you know, unless you want to pay for it. Uh, needs to be updated, mine, so I will update it later. But um, you can do full scans from it by going into menu, clicking antivirus. Sorry about this. My antivirus protection is on. But the second one, trust me, this one is scan. Then there's update. Then there's quarantine, which is quarantines all your uh, all all the um, viruses that have been picked up and then locked away, basically, from um, destroying your farm. Um, and you have your anti theft, which you can choose to block or wipe or data wipe or sim watch. Watch over your sim. So, what your phone's doing via that privacy protection, anti spam, which is your uh, for emails. But you can pick up emails through this via Windows Live. So, this software, this anti virus software, um, disallows, disallows spam mails going to the from your PC email to your phone email, or vice versa. Um, anyway, that is basically the Kaspersky uh, software and how to put it on and how ActiveSync works. Uh, most of ActiveSync is self explanatory with the form. Uh, as soon as you connect it up via a USB, it does ask that you either download or install the CD for ActiveSync. Um, <coughs> Whoops, sorry about that. Trying to lock it. But other than that, um, yeah, okay. Well, this is uh, Undead Total 21 signing off. Thank you for your time.